Hello everybody, Little Simmer here, and I am finally back with another Sims 3 speed build. And I'm I'm in love with this house. It's a really pretty like Mediterranean style home, and I've never built like this before. Um, in the original picture that I found on the ePlans site, it's very like blocky. Um, it was very, like, yeah, like we're looking at it right now. It's very, like, flat in the back. So I decided to pop it out a little bit just to give the house a little more, like, depth. Is that even the right word? <laughs> I don't think it's the right word. But, um, I've never built this style of home before, and it came out really pretty. It's very, like, modern on the inside. I've never, like, seen... I didn't know, I don't, like, I don't know what Mediterranean homes look like on the inside, um, because I've never built one and I've never seen one, like, in real life before, so I just figured that I'd make it, like, you know, um, just a little bit more modern on the inside, um, but anyway, this has one full bathroom upstairs, and then it has a half bath downstairs. I literally just put a sink and a toilet and the one downstairs. <laughs> so at least if you download this home, at least your sim will be able to use the bathroom downstairs. Um, but yeah, how's everybody else doing? I'm doing okay. Um, I think the last time we talked, I had just started back at Pizza Hut. I'm a delivery driver, and so my schedule is a little bit more relaxed. And I finally got to the point where because I didn't want to upload before because my because my game was so like laggy and stupid. And so I recently, not recently, but like a while back, I downloaded the smoothness patch. And I highly recommend that you guys go download it if you're having any type of performance issues or anything like that. Because it does really make a difference. And there is a... Um, Somebody um, made a YouTube video explaining how to set everything up. Um, I think her name is A Cotton Sock, I think is her name. Um, if I remember to, I really hope I remember to. Um, I'll link her video and the download link for the smoothness patch down below. Um, she goes over how to install it and whatnot. Um, and it really does, it makes a huge difference in my game. Like there's little to zero lag like at all <laughs> and I actually recently deleted all my custom content and started downloading new custom content because I guess I wasn't careful where I was downloading it from and um yeah I just I wasn't happy with how slow my computer is like running after downloading from like these sketchy websites um so from now on, I think I'm just going to stick to custom content from The Sims resource. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything new that's going on with me. Um, I want to start uploading again. I think I just hit my microphone. I'm sorry. I really want to start uploading again. Um, I've been really like in, like addicted to custom content shopping. Um, oh! If anybody, if, if, if none of you guys have ever, if, I'm having a hard time speaking. Um, I recently started playing The Sims again, like not just building, but, um, you know, actually playing the game. And I recently came across the architectural design career and it's so fun. Like you actually get to like, go to work with your sim and you actually get to like interact with things whereas like the other jobs pretty much like every other like job in the game you have to like just send them to work and there's like the little drop menu that says if you want to work hard and whatnot but no if anybody if you if you if you guys have never tried the architectural design career i highly re like recommend that you you know try it because i made a lot of money like I had a family that I started and it was, I, I made myself pretty much and I put myself in that career and within like maybe like a week or so in game, I was like 
making like a thousand, two thousand dollars every job, because you get paid like every job, and it like it it depends on how like well you did and the the skills that you have to level up are I think the photography skill and the painting skill. So definitely get an easel or a drafting table. Um, the drafting table actually has a research architectural design option on it. So it's it, it was a lot of fun. That I actually, I was really mad. Like I had my Sims in like this huge like mansion because I like saved up so much <laughs> of her money. And my game, because I installed a bad piece of custom content, um, the save file was corrupted and deleted, and I was really mad because I spent a lot of time. They had a kid, and she had a husband, and I was <laughs> I was so mad that I had to like delete the save. But definitely check out the architect the architectural design career. It's a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. Anyway, we're working on the outside right now, and I really wanted to put a tree like right there. But I didn't want it to cover up the house because it was so like it was so beautiful, and so I decided to just put some. Yeah, we're doing that right now. We're just putting some of that stuff around the edges and putting bushes and stuff in it. Um, I even like thought about putting like the little tiny birch tree. I think is what it is in there, but I didn't want to like cover. I didn't want to cover up the house like at all because it was very pretty. Like, and you know what? I'm just. <laughs> I, did, I just like remembered something that the picture that I go that I was going off of it had the the pop out for the front door it had the walls as like a really pretty rock color and I forgot to do it whoops <laughs> um, but it looks cute either way it looks really good um, and this house will be for they like available for download on sim file share. And if you downloaded the house, you should get all of the custom content that I use in it. Um, and if you guys don't know how to download, like, custom content, or if you guys don't know how to download, like, houses, um, I'll leave a link to the video that I uploaded on how to install custom content. And it goes over everything. So you guys, if you watch that, and if you know how to download houses, you should get all the custom content that's in it. Anyway, we're still working on the outside. I thought about putting a backyard, but I realized that I used kind of a small lot. And so there is no backyard for this house. And I guess that's fine because I didn't build it on like a foundation. I built it like, like the yeah, other, yeah, there, there's no foundation for this house. Um, so yeah, there's, there's no, there's no backyard. If you guys really wanted to, you could make it like a side yard, but that's up to you guys. Um, the downstairs is fully furnished. Uh, the upstairs, the only thing I, the, yeah, the only thing I furnished upstairs is the bathroom. Or, no, not the bathroom. The only thing I furnish furnish upstairs is the master bedroom. Um, but yeah, and the other bedrooms, you guys can, you know, decorate them because, you know, you, if you guys download this house, if I decorate the bedrooms, it depends on, like, you know, what you guys have in your family. Um, this kitchen is kind of awkward. Um, in the picture, it has the kitchen on the opposite side. So, like, not on the side of the kitchen that we're on right now, but it has it on the other, on the left-hand side. But I guess I was, like, thinking about, like, the two windows that are there. And, like, yeah, I, I just don't want to put, co like, cabinets or cupboards, like, over the windows. So I just decided to put it over here. And it's pretty either way. And I really wanted to put that, that table right there. But I couldn't, like, change the color on the top of it. I couldn't just make it a solid color. And it didn't really go with, like, the rest of the house. Because I really wanted this house to be, like, more modern style. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's so pretty. Like I've never built a house like this. Um, and then I use all the stuff from late night, I think is the expansion pack that I used for the kitchen. Um, 
it's just it's a very it's a very modern house and if you guys hear whining in the background that's my dog um how much longer do we got out of the, okay we got about three minutes left of of this um but yeah i did i I did this really, I, I got, like, I did this really cool thing with the, ta with the TV and stuff, where I put these, yeah, those things, I put those on top of the shelf right there, to make it look like there's pictures there, isn't that so pretty? I think it's really pretty, um, the, the living room is really pretty, um, I didn't play test anything, but everything's, like, so spread out that you get that you know you guys shouldn't have any problems getting around and it's a very open concept so you guys shouldn't have any problems getting your sim like, to do things um because you know that's there's nothing worse <laughs> than you know building a house and then thinking that it's fine which i probably should start like play testing i play tested the christmas home that i built a couple years ago and there was like a it was like I think it was kind of it was kind of crammed but not too crammed but surprisingly enough there was no issues um but yeah I think we're gonna finish the downstairs and then we're gonna go upstairs to the master bedroom here in just a moment um I think those curtains are also from late night but I really like them so um, yeah, I put a little office right here. I just put the computer and the desk and some bookshelves. And I think I call it a day. Um, <laughs> I really hope my dog, my dog doesn't start barking again. I, I tried to record this voiceover before, but my dog started barking, so I had to stop. Um, but so far, she's, so far she's good. Um. But yeah, I think we just do up the upstairs, and I don't put any furniture on the balcony or anything, because it's kind of a small space. But yeah, we're doing the, I found this bed on the Sims resource, and it's so pretty. Like, look at it. Oh my gosh, I can't. I need to download more custom content, like patterns. Um... Because, like, because the the ones that, like, the base game and everything, like, they're fine. But, like, I, I'd, I would like, you know, <laughs> a bigger, like, selection, if that makes any sense. But, yeah, I think, yeah, we, like I said, we just finish up this master bedroom and then we're completely finished. Um, all the links that I mentioned in the video will be down below, as well as the link to download this house on the Sims file share. And I'm really happy to be back, and I will leave you guys with some music, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.